Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. Manchester United 3, West Ham 1. The quadruple hope still alive. Laker natural stunner sees Manchester United come from behind to top the Hammers. I mean, Hammers were looking like they were going to win and get a win at, at Old Trafford, but we came back in the last 20 minutes. What a substitution by Eric Ten Hag. Amazing, amazing second half performance by Manchester United. Alejandro Garnacho, late stunner, fired Manchester United into the FA Cup quarterfinals now, baby. We are in the quarterfinals. I don't care what anybody says. We're in the quarterfinals. We already won the Carabao Cup. We're in the quarterfinals. Uh, we're still going for the Premier League. It's still in the Europa League. So, hey, why not dream big? Dream big. The quadruple is still on, people. The Red Devils has fallen behind in this game uh, to West Ham at Old Trafford only to come, you know, rolling back because that first half was just awful. Awful first half, in my opinion. One of the worst, probably one of the worst, worst uh, first half that we played. The Hammers took the lead uh, through Said Benarama. Uh, ben it's a stunning finish. I didn't actually get to see the game. I mean, the goal because they had some technical issues and I didn't watch the goal. And I've heard people say that uh, the ball was actually outside. I haven't checked it. I haven't watched it back again, but it's a stunning goal by uh, by Saeed. Uh, but after that, you're thinking, are we going to lose again? Are we actually going to lose our momentum again? But despite that, I mean, despite that ball going in, despite going down, and uh, and um in the second half we came back strong i thought eric ten hag made the right substitutions uh when uh when he put casemiro in for mctominay because mctominay was actually struggling to control the game uh he took off mctominay uh, he put casemiro in he also put in rashford uh and the game the game completely turned on his head the game completely turned on his head uh west ham defenders are no longer uh happy to just sit back and relax because they have we have marcus rashford that can actually uh, run in behind and cause a lot of problems uh, for them and we've caused a lot of problems for them in the second half um set piece casameo had a, a goal disallowed that came from a set piece but then we got our own goal i thought vegos actually scored that first goal initially but it was actually an own goal you're looking at it it was an actually a, an own goal um by knife i think knife aguert knife aguert i believe that's his name uh, uh that was the guy that actually put the ball in his own net but unfortunately you know it's good for us <laughs> but unfortunately uh for them this just completely changed the game completely changed the game alejandro garnacho of course got the uh, stunning winning goal winning goal i mean you would call it a winning goal because that's the second goal i wouldn't call the third goal a winning goal but this was an unbelievable finish from garnacho uh you have to respect this guy he was uh not called up on in the final i'm sure he's probably disappointed the fact that he didn't play in the uh, carabao cup but he started this match and what a hit that was and what a curler that was but a brown corner what a finish uh he he basically took the uh, the game away from west ham garnacho i thought garnacho had a magnificent game even in the first half he was brilliant he was he was very unpredictable he was getting on the ball trying to make things happen you're looking at anthony on the other side and anthony just so predictable so predictable in this match i thought anthony uh was predictable always cutting inside and shooting and rightly so eric ten hag made the choice and to take him off he took him off and the game turned on his head the game turned on his head and this is another game another game from eric ten hag making a difference in the second half he just the substitutions are just incredible i just don't know is he a magician i mean is he a magician that's all i can think of because every single time we start games bad in the second half we just turn the game on its head it's not a coincidence people it is not a coincidence it's the fact that we have a proper coach a proper manager that can actually read the game and make a difference in the game and he's always picking the right players in uh, to come in and make a difference and i thought casemiro uh made a huge difference in this match 
of Rashford, of course, made a huge difference in this match. So Eric Ten Hag, big, big, big shout out for this guy because he deserves the, the respect and he deserves all the credit in this match. Uh, if it wasn't him, I thought we would we would probably not win this game. We would probably not win this game. Um, Harry Maguire at the back, always a suspect. I mean, I wasn't comfortable with this guy. Um, did he cost us the goal? I like I said, I didn't watch the goal, but all in all, he looked shaky on the ball for my for my uh, taste. Uh, him and Lindelof, they just don't work together. I thought Maguire played a little bit better when. Martinez was introduced after Martinez replaced um, um, Lindelof. But all in all, again, Lindelof and Aaron Maguire, they just don't go together. They just don't go together. There's just a no-go. Those two should never play again, in my opinion. Um, but Sabatza, uh, how did Sabatza do in this match? I think... So that's uh, did okay in the first half, but was replaced late on by Fred, I believe. Uh, he did okay. I like Sabatzer, to be honest with you. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He doesn't always pass that risky ball. He's always in control. And I like what I'm seeing from Sabatzer. Uh, the fullback position, Malasia and Dalot did okay. Did okay defensively and offensively, but we need to see more from them. Really, we need to see more from them. Um... Who else am I missing? I think I've covered everybody. I've covered everybody. Weghorst, again, blank. I mean, he has a couple of chances in that first half, and he just doesn't take it. He doesn't take it. His finishing is awful. But guess what? Eric Ten Hag loves him, and he gives something to the team, and that's why he keeps picking him. He keeps selecting uh, uh, Weghorst into the lineup. It's not a coincidence, people, and he's doing it on purpose, and it's working. It's working. This is another game that we've won. But look, I'm satisfied. I'm really happy. Disappointed with the first half, but really, really happy with the second half performance. Who is your man of the match? Let me know in the comment section. I thought uh, Casemiro or Ganacho should take man of the match. But I would probably just move towards Garnacho because of that stunning finish uh, to get us that winning goal. Uh, but... Do let me know in the comment sections who you think is your man of the match. And yeah, we move on, people. Who's next? Liverpool. Liverpool. I mean, that's not going to be another uh, easy game. I thought that the, the fact that we rested all these players is because we have Liverpool coming up. It is not going to be an easy game. Thank God they had a game uh, today as well against Wolves, uh, which basically makes them tired as well, not just us. But it's gonna be fair. Um, uh, it's gonna be a fair uh, game in terms of which team is getting rest or which team is not. But all in all, I think I'm really, really looking forward to that match. Arsenal have won today. Um, so in the Premier League, if we want to compete in the Premier League, we cannot afford to drop points. So the Liverpool game now becomes the most important game. I'm sure Eric Ten Hag will speak about it now that this FA Cup is gone and dusted. Uh, we have to focus on Liverpool. And that Liverpool game is going to be a massive one. And it's going to be a big, big one. But tonight, people, tonight, we just got a massive, massive result. And we advance to the quarterfinals. And hopefully, we get an easy draw so we can find ourselves in the semifinals and move on to the final and do the same thing. Do the same thing that we did in the Carabao Cup. But let's see what's going to happen, guys. Let's see what's going to happen. But thanks for watching again. Don't forget to smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And that is it, people. I am out. Thanks for watching. Peace.